Alberta is the only province without a sales tax of its own, and that may be why the House of Commons Committee on the Proposed Federal Goods and Services Tax took such a hammering in Edmonton today. Keith Bogue reports. Saloon keeper Von Gramatovich may seem an unlikely leader for a popular tax revolt, but last month she stopped sending the federal government the money she deducts from her employees' paychecks for Canada Pension Plan, Unemployment Insurance and Income Tax. Instead, she's putting the money in trust, as a protest against the proposed goods and services tax. 18 months ago they threatened to tax my haircuts and that was my, that was it, that was the thing that set me off. Gramatovich is not alone. Albertans seem incensed by the proposed GST. Earlier this week more than 1,500 showed up at a protest rally called Axe the Tax. Headlines such as this from the Edmonton Journal fuel the anger. At the Finance Committee hearings this morning, one man, apparently frustrated by the process, stormed out of the meeting room calling it all a sham. And take your committee and go back to Ottawa, this is a sham. We're hearing from too many organizations and not enough ordinary folks out there. Committee Chairman Don Blankarn insists people just don't understand what the tax is all about. We've had businesses come before our committee across Canada who clearly didn't understand the tax at all. And all of a sudden, we start explaining it to them, and you almost see the light go on. The Finance Department is reacting to the same problem. It's put together a special GST task force. In the months ahead, it'll work out a new strategy to try to sell the tax to people by helping them to understand it. Keith Bogue, CBC News, Edmonton.